Welcome back to the show, guys. You will be surprised to find this is I find it very surprising. A lot of uh, Democrats think that Elizabeth Warren would be a great pick for Joe Biden's VP pick. Poll finds Elizabeth Warren VP pick most likely to pull in Bernie Sanders voters. Now, I don't know what Bernie Sanders supporters they were talking to, but evidently there are some Bernie Sanders supporters out there who do believe that Elizabeth Warren would be the best choice. Now, this information is based on a poll that was done, polling potential tickets, uh, done by an organization called Data for Progress. All right, so here goes the first slide. First slide here. Both Sanders and Warren supporters are more likely to support Biden with Warren on the ticket. Okay, uh, here we go. Much more likely, 25%. Who did you support in the Democratic primary? Biden, Bernie, Warren. So um, would you be more or less likely to support Joe Biden for president against Republican Donald Trump if he chose the following as his vice presidential, vice presidential nominee? Okay. So as you can see here, these are, the amount, these are the people who did support in the Democratic primary. This is how much they would support Elizabeth. 61%, let's jump back here, 61% of the Sanders supporters who would be more likely to vote for a Biden-Warren ticket compared to 42% for a Harris ticket, a Biden-Harris ticket, and 33% for a Biden-Klobuchar ticket, and 26% for Biden-Abrams ticket, says. Sanders supporters are excited about the prospect of Warren as a VP. <laughs> Okay, like I said, I don't know who these people are. Uh, would, would you be more or less likely to support Joe Biden for president against Republican Donald Trump if he chose the following as his vice presidential, presidential nominee? Attitudes among Sanders supporters by Democratic vice presidential nominee. Um, 35%. Um, Sanders supporters, 33% of them would, what, much, like, much more likely vote for Biden. 28% would somewhat more likely. 30% just the same. 6% less likely and somewhat less likely. Marginal. As you can see, the, the potential nominee or the potential running mate with the most support from Sanders supporters is Elizabeth Warren. Last and final slide. Slide BD Warren 3. Here we go. Booyaka. Black voters. Let me know this is the voting block that uh, Democrats need in order to ever win election again. I don't know why they keep winning it when they don't do anything for these people. And when we even ask, people say it's racist. But black voters are enthusiastic about a hypothetical Biden Warren ticket. Would you be more or less likely to support Joe Biden for vice president against Republican Donald Trump if he chose the following as his vice presidential nominee? This is what black voters said. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, okay. 29% more likely. 23% somewhat more likely. 30% about the same. 7 and 11. All right. 7 and 11%, somewhat less likely and much less likely. So overall, black supporters are a little bit more critical of Elizabeth Warren than, say, uh, any uh, white folks or Democrats in general. And they look like they favor, well, they still, they like her a little bit more than Kamala still. That's very close, 29 to 30, but then there's a drop off and it's somewhat more likely. So, yeah, she's not, she's a little bit more favored. She's still the most favored. Still the most favored. About the same with Stacey Abrams. Look at this. Okay. Ugh. All right. So this is where we are. Now, back to the fun part. Here goes the fun part, Johnson. I don't care what that paper says. I don't care what it says. How many people you talk to? 50? And where'd you talk to him at? Why didn't I get polled? Me and Mrs. Black did not get our poll. You should send us a poll. We, we live here. What about us? Okay, so here's the deal, guys. Um, Elizabeth Warren burnt the bridges with the progressive 
left. We are talking about Sanders supporters. Both I and Mrs. Black voted for Bernie last election. Why aren't they asking us this time? So we all consider Sanders supporters. I also donated to the campaign. Both of us did. So why are we considered in their polling? So once again, a poll is only as good as the data that's put in and the polling sample size that it uses. That be that as it may, we do have to face reality and say, well, you know what, it might be some people that say they're progressive or some Sanders supporters are not as progressive as we think they are for whatever reason, okay? So when people talk about leverage on Bernie Sanders, these people, are they actually actually taking in mind or bearing in mind that we have some people that their leverage, the potential of leverage is not the same as some others? Like there are some others who are not as vehement supporters, as I've been learning, as some other folks, meaning it's a steep hill to climb. Some of these Sanders supporters still didn't get the memo that Elizabeth should have dropped out and endorsed Bernie Sanders after she saw it was clear that she had no path. So it was okay to take his policies, use them as her own, water them down, and then stay in a race until he was totally hosed and then come out and support Biden. And now she wants on the ticket. And I saw her uncharacteristically give a direct answer to a question recently. Just so happens that wasn't a question about reparations, which I kept hearing everyone talk about when Bernie was running. When Bernie was out there, all I kept hearing from a certain group of people was how, what about reparations? What about reparations? When you ask Warren about reparations, if you did ask her, she had nothing to say. Oh, that's right, she supported it. She stopped talking about it now, didn't she, Johnson? Or the fact that anything, anything of substance, whether it be Medicare for all, whether it be uh, closing the racial wealth gap, the only thing she talked about was that housing, which was very interesting. But if you back down on all your other legislation, who, who trusts you to fight for any legislation? And another thing about Elizabeth Warren that always rubbed me the wrong way was she always called herself a fighter. Where I come from, people that say they can fight usually can't fight, Johnson. Yeah, most of the people who talked about, I, I can fight, I'm a fighter, got knocked out quick. They got mopped and boo-wopped and be-wopped and dragged up out of there. The people that can fight are people didn't always talk about how they were a fighter. It's what we call wolf tickets. So that's the deal with Elizabeth Warren. Um, for some reason, Biden has this thing in his head or the polling data, whatever they're using. And I'm sure they are doing their you know, whatever, triangulation and poll testing and focus group monitoring or trying, you know, whatever, whatever they call it, to determine who's the best choice. A list that would include neoliberals like Stacey Abrams and Amy Klobuchar is not a list that will incite, excite, or invite any progressives, not any worth their salt. 